this video, we are going to cover types of discontinuities. And these are removable or whole discontinuity, which would give us that f of c is not equal to the limit of the function as x approaches c. So in this case, the limit exists. Jump discontinuity. We have the limit of the function as x approaches c from the left is not equal to the limit of the function as x approaches c from the right. In this case, the limit does not exist. For infinite discontinuity, either side of the limit of the function as x approaches c is infinite. Let us have some examples. So first, let us identify f of 4. By direct substitution, we can have 0 over 0. Therefore, f of 4 is undefined. Since we have 0 over 0, to get the limit, we can do factoring. So this would be cancelled, giving us the limit of x plus 4 as x approaches 4. By direct substitution, we can have 4 plus 4 and we have 8. From this case, the limit exists, which is 8, and it is not equal to our f of c. Therefore, the type of discontinuity is removable or whole. Another example, let's say we have x minus 2 over x minus 5, and we would like to get the discontinuity at x is equal to 5. So getting f of 5, we have 3 over 0. So f of 5 is undefined. In this case, we have a number over 0, or a finite number over 0. So we're going to do the strategy for infinite limits. So to get the limit from the right side of our function, we would be doing 5.001 minus 2 over 5.001 minus 5. So expected answer for the numerator is positive over positive. So this is positive. Therefore, we have positive infinity. So we're going to use 4.999 minus 2 over 4.999 minus 5. So for the signs, we have positive over negative. So this would be negative infinity. So the limit at x is equal to 5 does not exist. But to identify the type of discontinuity, since we have infinite limits, then this is infinite discontinuity. For another example, let us identify the type of discontinuity at x is equal to negative 1. So solving for f of negative 1 for this piecewise function, we're going to use the first function, which is x minus 3. So by direct substitution, we have negative 1 minus 3. And therefore, this is negative 4. Let us now identify the limit of the function as x approaches negative 1. For the right-hand side limit, we're going to use x squared minus 3x minus 1. And for the left-hand side, we're going to use x minus 3. So by direct substitution, this would be negative 1 squared minus 3 by negative 1 minus 1. So this is 1 plus 3 minus 1. So we have 3. And for the left-hand side, this would be negative 1 minus 3, and that is negative 4. Therefore, the limit at x is equal to negative 1 does not exist. And to identify the type of discontinuity, checking our limits 
we have real numbers. And therefore, we have a jump discontinuity at x is equal to negative 1. This graph shows some of the examples of the types of discontinuities. So let's say this is C. And here. Now, for the first graph, this shows a removable discontinuity. As we can see, the limit exists and is not equal to f of c. This would be a jump discontinuity. As we can see, there is a gap at x is equal to c. Or the limit from the left-hand side is not equal to the right-hand side limit. And for the infinite discontinuity, we can see an asymptote. So let us try to answer this exercise. Let us identify the type of discontinuity at the given value of x. So at x is equal to negative 3, here the limit exists and we do not see any defined values. Therefore, this is removable. At x is equal to negative 2, there is a gap, so we have jump. At x is equal to 2, there is a vertical asymptote, so we have an infinite discontinuity. At x is equal to 3, the limit exists, and f of 3 is equal to 1. So the limit is not equal to f of c, so this is removable or whole. And at x is equal to 0, there is a gap, therefore we have a jump discontinuity.